Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the capacitor in a Drayton Digistat SCR. Here's the SCR. Common fault is green light, no click, and no heating. Tools you're going to need are two flat bladed screwdrivers, pair of cutters, uh, solder sucker if you've got one, and obviously the new capacitor which you can buy from myself. Okay, first up, need to look at the back of the Digistat. You'll see that there are four clips, two on either side, two there, two there. Now from my experience, the easiest way to open it is to attack this side here first. What you need to do is just put your flat bladed screwdriver into one of these recesses. Don't push it all the way in, just a couple of millimetres. And gently ease the side open. You'll see there now there's a gap. You slide your screwdriver in there, your second screwdriver, you'll notice then it pops open. Okay, so then we swing it around, look at the other side. This time we need to just push the tab that way. Again, flat blade, just going to push it slightly to the left, slide in the second screwdriver, and again, pops open nice and easily. So there we go, we can see it. Just need to slide a screwdriver in the side here, just to release the PCB from the clips. Okay, inside you'll see the two buttons, and the two light lenses. Just put those back in place. Right, so here's the back of the Digistat. Just two simple clips to get the board out. Large one here. Small one here. Probably do that with your finger. That is the capacitor which needs to be changed. Very easy job. Again, you're going to need a solder on iron solder sucker to get this out. If you don't have a solder sucker I'd recommend cutting the legs here, here and here and then possibly then warm the joint up with uh, the soldering iron and pulling the legs through. But being as I've got a solder sucker I'll do it the proper way which is desolder there, desolder there There's a quick flick with the soldering iron. Now you might need a flat blade then just to prise underneath the capacitor and gently lift. There's a sticky pad under there which holds it in place. I will supply you with a new pad. New cap goes in. So the legs around and then a resolder. Heat the joint, add the solder. Heat the joint, add the solder. Trim off the legs. Board can now be put back into its mouldings. Gently prise that side open. So I can just click in, then push this back in there. Make sure your buttons are safe, they can fall off. All done in four minutes. Thank you.